What up everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Neil and today I'll be reviewing the Bronda CL1500 bidet from Costco. And if you're in the market for looking for a new bidet but you're not really sure if this might be the right one, just stay tuned, watch this video, you decide. Today I'll be unboxing, installing, and reviewing the bidet and make sure this is the right choice for you. So let's begin. All right, here's the installation process. First, you wanna go ahead and turn off the water supply and flush the toilet, then remove the existing toilet seat. Then you wanna make sure you disconnect the water supply hose from the toilet tank. Then you want to connect the T-valve to the water supply hose and connect the T-valve to the toilet tank. Next, you want to install the mounting plate and screw the bolt down, but not tightly yet because you want to make sure the toilet seat is lined up properly, which in this case, it isn't. So there's actually a button to unlock the latch so you can remove the bidet. I actually readjusted the mounting plate and reinserted the uh, bidet and it looks like it lined up. Next, you want to connect the bidet hose to the seat, but you have to remove the rubber cap first. Oh, also the manual doesn't really let you know that this part is adjustable. So, so the other end of the hose, you want to connect it to the T-valve. Finally, you can open the water supply valve and make sure there's no leak. Oh, I almost forgot about the deodorizer that needs to be inserted on the side of the bidet. Finally, plug it in, plug it in. Now let's talk about the features of this Bondel CO1500 bidet. Now this thing is packed with so many different kinds of features that make it stand out from other bidet in the market. So I'm talking about like heater seat, warm air dryer, adjustable water temperature and pressure, and eco mode to save energy. It also has a deodorizer, night light, and a pulsating massage feature. Now the control makes it so easy for you to adjust any setting on the bidet and customize your cleansing experience. So what's the verdict? Is the Brando CL1500 bidet worth the $270? In my opinion, yes. But there are a few drawbacks to consider. Like first, it's thick. Like I'm talking about it's over six inches high from the back. And I know there are like other bidet that are slimmer than this, but it only those only comes with the remotes. Personally, I think I will lose the remote, so that's why I opt for the control that's attached to the bidet. Second, you can't really sit on the lid without breaking it, because there's actually a weight limit to 160 pounds. Not sure why Brondell decided to build it like that, but it is, there's a limitation on the weight. Third, the Warm, dry air kind of takes a while to heat up. Like, initially you'll feel the dry air, but the heat comes after. And knowing myself, I don't have that kind of patience, so like waiting for two minutes, like at that point, I'd rather just get up, use a towel, pat down my cheeks, and move on. Alright, for the fourth drawback, is there can be splashes of water on the back of your seat if your cheek don't fill in the gap. Meaning, if there's an opening in the back, the nozzle will spray the water to your butt and the water will bounce off to the seat. So simply just cover all the seat gaps, if that makes sense. The fifth, it's not really a drawback, but I want to show you the how the nozzle works, but it won't activate unless you sit. I'm not sure if it's a weight sensor or a skin contact sensor, but here's what I can show you. As you can see, the moment I get off the seat, 
the nozzle stops spraying and it retracts. So that's kind of interesting. I'm sure there's an option to deactivate the seat sensor after I read the manual, but if you know, please comment below to let me know how, it, how to deactivate it. So overall, the bidet is easy to install and the different features are highly customizable, making it a great option for anyone to use. I especially love the heated seat and the adjustable water temperature. Those are a game changer. Plus, I don't need an additional nightlight for the bathroom anymore, so that's nice. And now that's the wrap up of this review for the Bondo CL 1500 bidet from Costco. I really hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any question or comment, please comment below and I'll try to get back to you. And make sure you like this video and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.